Okay, as I was saying, it's the violence, though, within other people who believe similar but different things we don't need or not. We all have common laws. Now, the thing is, in Arabia, if your sister or your daughter has premarital sex, it's wrong to stone her or kill her right over it. Just like with Moses, get her to marry the man, right? If you have a different way of doing that, right? Now, the whole point of marriage is, though, that a male and female have sex from that point on anyway, right? <laughs> All premarital sex is they had sex prior to getting legally married. No, no. By the way. <laughs> and it's not really frowned upon by anyone but those who are being religious about it, right? And don't understand the simplicity of sex is marriage, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing is you live with someone, or not, if you're dating someone and they want sex with you, it is consensual, right? That's not a crime either, you know? But rape is. If the person says no, they're not into that. You're raping them. <laughs> you also shouldn't attack someone if you're gay or straight or bi or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you're homophobic or heterophobic <laughs> or both. Or both. Uh, you don't attack people for feeling straight or gay, right? You can disagree with it. And you can voice your opinion about the subject. That's freedom of speech. You can say, I don't believe in homosexuality because I think we're supposed to be with a female. That's your opinion, right? And they don't feel the same way. They think it's okay to be with the same sex, right? Obviously. So when they reach the age of consent of the United States of America, if they choose to be with each other, and they consent, that's legal. That's legal. Like with Kevin Spacey and the bartender incident, right? The boy was at least 18. <laughs> he can consent. Now, if he's letting Spacey buy him drinks and Spacey didn't know he was under 21, that's on him. I know, too, dude. <laughs> he didn't know he was under 21, <laughs> Right. <laughs> the boy's supposed to tell him that. He's just working at the bar. Mm -hmm. Now, and Spacey's a little drunk, right? When he's buying the boy drinks and kind of hitting on him. I know. <laughs> That's not a crime. That's not a crime. <laughs> and then, the boy ain't underage either. You know? He's 18. <laughs> He can consent to sex in most of the 50 states, even with a man, even with a man. Now, if he's acting like he's into Kevin, okay, whatever reason he is at the time, right? All right, I ain't saying he can't change his mind, right? Afterwards, either, either. <laughs> but he can't say Kevin wasn't just hitting on him a little bit and that he overreacted either, either. <laughs> Acting all homophobic towards the end, right? You can't do that either, guy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what Jesus allows you to repent of anything you think is a mistake, right? Exactly. But you handled it wrong. You and your mom, my opinion. Right? Just my opinion. But if you make something a big deal and it's really up to the two parties involved and it's up to them, don't mess with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If they're old enough to do it, right. you understand? Right. If they're not, that's different. You gotta interfere in it. You cannot let a child sleep with an adult or use a child as bait with an adult, mm -hmm. or you're corrupting that child to the adult. The child can't also lie about her age or use a fake ID 
to be with an older man, right? That's a legal crime, too, where the male don't know the female's real age, right? <laughs> That's not his fault, either, either. He can't just look at a girl and tell her age by looking at her alone. Because <laughs> some women look younger you know, than they actually are. Some women look older than they actually are, right? And some older women are trying to look younger, and the same with the men, and vice versa. The old, younger girls are trying to get older quicker, right? That causes all kinds of confusion, right? So, remember that, too. <laughs> See, like I said, if the two 12-year-old girls whose mothers I tried to date briefly, I know, and had sex with, I know, if they were being molested by the roommate or the doc, the ex-boyfriend who was out in the apartment, though the roommate was still there, mm -hmm. if the daughter, either way, talked to me about it, mm -hmm. all I could do is advise her after that once I'm in the house, right, and sleeping on the couch, I'm still where I was supposed to be. She's not supposed to come in there and wake me up either until morning, right? <laughs> If she does, something's going on, right? And I'm trying to help her deal with it, even if she is worried about the guy coming back and raping her. You know, I would not rape her in that situation, but if it's the choice between him and me, who do you think he would choose? You, me. <laughs> what can you do about it in that situation? Nothing. If it were to happen, it's still hypothetical. I ain't saying it happened. I don't remember it happening. <laughs> I think I slept through the whole night. <laughs> but if that did really happen, the mother would know, the daughter would know, and I would just be the only one out in the loop because the guy who started it all wasn't even there. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. Though the roommate was there in the morning with the other woman who had a young daughter, right? But old enough to have sex with, all right? But yet... She's living with a roommate, right? The only way she would try to do something with me is if the roommate was busted, all right? And again, if it's the choice between me and the roommate, who would you choose, right? You tell me. <laughs> right. And he's molesting her himself. And, uh, but see, I would try to stop him and talk him out of it. And if they insisted, get them to be on top, right? Another thing is, the guy's always got to be on top. Not me, not you. <laughs> That's a bad thing, too, men. I know it is. You're too dominant. You ain't always got to drive, Will Smith. Just teasing. <laughs> I know. That's from Men in Black. I don't know if that's true or not, either. It's just a line in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Not my business, not my business. But if you're married, you're best to stay faithful or divorce, right? That's what Jesus did there too, right? If your wife's committing adultery, she's caught in the very act, and they're trying to get you to stone her, but they don't bring the man with her. Mm-hmm. You instead divorce her. That's why they're asking him about it. Mm -hmm. But he's being sarcastic with them. Mm -hmm. What they're really saying, okay, if you reread it thinking of it that way, Jesus had to divorce Mary because she committed adultery and seemed fornication. Save for the cause of fornication. Then you can divorce her. Ah, ah. That's what he's saying. No, <laughs> no. And you're, you don't understand because Constantine interrupted the message, right? It's not your fault. I guess not Constantine's either, but there again, the Orthodox had an agenda. And, uh, they're not just angry with the Gnostics. They're trying to wipe them out. That's their sin. That's their sin. They're being satanic there. Mm -hmm. They're trying to destroy a different idea of Christ, which is in the Bible too, right? They can't do that, I don't know, and be of God. They're of Satan, automatically. Right? They're trying to dominate the church too. 
which that means they're using violence to control people, not love, which casts out all fear. Mm -hmm. And is it violent? No. And that's what Satan uses to enforce his will. The law is just as much a tool of the devil. Mm -hmm. If you're following it wrong as well. Mm -hmm. As grace can help you to learn to not sin and lead you to the truth, right? If you let it too, right? But if something's wrong and you're being self-righteous in it, it don't matter. If you murder rather than show forgiveness, that's the worst sin you can commit. If you rape no, a woman or a man, right? and they said no, that's the second worst thing you can do. That's like unto murder according to Moses, right? If you read Deuteronomy. If you vandalize or assault somebody, you're trying to harm them physically and someone else's property as well. Mm -hmm. Through violent acts, right? You're trying to destroy something they built up themselves, right? That's wrong too. I know. Then you're stealing too, right? See, these are also lesser in, lesser in severity, but why are you stealing, right? Is it to put food on your table? Mm-hmm. That's different too, right? Or is it just the, you got food on your table and you want more, right? Or do you really need more, right? Now, I got a decent little setup here, but, I don't know, and I'm hanging in there, right, right? But it don't mean I don't need a little bit more money to get out the hole. Mm -hmm. See, even Comcast, I heard, is going up in prices this year. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm -hmm. I heard the electric company might be too slowly, right? Well, that's why we have a cost of living increase every year. Mm -hmm. Which also has to help. The disabled and the old. All right. And you also got to provide jobs for us, government. You're that in between. All right. But like I said, what do you think people who are undocumented are trying to do? Mm -hmm. Get into the country illegally or were they falsely charged in their country and they can't do nothing about it and don't know what to do? All right. Sometimes that can happen too, right? You're falsely charged for something you didn't do. Or something's being taken out of place, right? Or misinterpretation. But it's got to all fit together. And if Jesus forgave me, Daphne, you got to forgive me too, right? And God, and God. Only Jesus knows how to appear and disappear in thin air, right? Which is kind of like teleportation, you know? So if Jesus helped me get back on base and you had me off base, that's weird, you know? <laughs> Ain't it? Ain't it? <laughs> or was I on base the whole time and that never happened, right? It was again a hypothetical, right? And I probably told them that, too. Mm -hmm. See, there I'm trying to reason with them not to attack me. They're planning on attacking me with my karate training and nijutsu training. Because <laughs> I guess they were in the gay navy and they overreacted to it. And I had to get back on down from the window ledge right, somehow. And there's three ways. Go back up the way you came. Jump down or lower yourself down for my floor. Now, two of them would be cooler either way. Mm -hmm. Lowering yourself down floor by floor. <laughs> would also be cool. And jumping from the window ledge, but I don't remember which one I did. Or swinging back up to the roof, right? All that can be kind of cool, right? <laughs> like in Jim Cotta or... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. All right.
<laughs> Which the jiu-jitsu does use a little bit of gymnastics, as does certain kung fu styles, right? I don't know. Right. Okay. Time to go eat. <laughs>